Hello dear friends, welcome, welcome to another video of the Never Do Through the GUI, what you can do through the CLI channel. I am Vangelis and today we will be exploring Web API benchmarking, Java, <coughs> Vertex, VS, Rust, Actix Web and we will also bench as a bonus Warp and Axum because I want to see how they perform between them and in comparison with Actix Web. So this is our main focus, this thing this co thing called Vertex, which I had no idea about, but uh, I was contacted, contacted by one of my viewers and he asked me to create um, a benchmark with this framework. And uh, as you can see, it says it is a reactive application on the JVM. So I went on and I did that and we will see um, <clears throat> we will see the bench in a minute, but I want to say up front that it says that it is resource efficient, etc, uh, etc. Et but uh, I did not see that in action. You will see yourselves and I just followed uh, their docs and what they say that an application should be but the end result is not good uh, as I said I just followed their uh, instructions on how to create the application and run the application so if the fault is on my part on the execution part or on something else I just followed the docs so the, the, the fault is in their docs and they should be updated to uh, be showing the best possible execution, let's say, or setup for the application. So these were some uh, preliminary remarks. So let's get into the video. These are the, the endpoints. This is the vertex here. This is our Actix web and these are the warp and the axum this will be our main focus so first of all let me show you how i run the application this is how i run it and this is uh, this is how they say i should run it in the starter uh, application here in the readme this is how they say that i should run it I have also tried running it with other ways like this one, I will show you. I also tried running this uh, thing after building it but the end result is exactly the same. So we will be using this command that they provide. So I will come here and I will rerun the server. It runs on port 8888 as you saw. So let's see again that it is running. Excellent. And we are start. We are ready to start benching. So let's get our first command. We will start with Apache bench. We will uh, warm the system with 1,000 requests, and then we will execute 100,000 requests. Here is our resources, so let's start and let's see. The memory, the CPU utilization is not very good, only 6%. Memory is about 800 megabytes. very low utilization of the CPUs and 800, uh, no Java, uh, 800 approximately megabytes used for and we have our result, let me copy the result copy in order to, to include it in the description okay, uh, let's go to Actix web now so we will get the same command uh, the 883 port we warm up the system and we run let me prepare this <clears throat> 
we are done as you can see let me copy these results copy okay we have the results let's start comparing now uh, yeah time taken for tests let me zoom in a little bit more time taken for tests 30 seconds uh, time taken for test 7.8 seconds complete the requests all of them nothing failed requests per second 3200 12700 time per request 307 milliseconds 78 milliseconds transfer rate 310,000, 1,334,000. Percentage of the request served within a certain uh, time. As you can see, we have huge differences up until the 98%. Yeah, uh, overall, as you can see, we have huge differences. Uh, it's uh, if we judge by the time taken, uh, the vertex needs more than four times to execute these requests. And as you saw, the system utilization and the resources were was not what they describe here, resource efficient. Of course, uh, if anybody who is more experienced with the vertex uh, can uh, pinpoint any problems or can create a pull request because i will have a repository available he can do so in order for us to improve this application because the current result is not good at all compared to rust so yeah that's the the main uh, the main thing that we can get from this benchmark I will quickly also bench, as I said, uh, the two other Rust frameworks just to get a glimpse of what they do. So let me quickly bench the Warp API. This is the Warp API. Okay, and this is the Axum Web API. I will fix the terminals so we can check the results. Okay, uh, as you see, Warp needed uh, 6.7 seconds. Axum needed uh, seven seconds, so we have a very slight difference there. Uh, request per second, 14,700, 14,200. Time per request, 6770. Transfer rate a little bigger. And these also results are uh, a a little better for warp as you can see uh, both warp and taxum are based on hyper but in all my benchmarks it seems that uh, both of them are a little faster than arctic web and warp is always a little faster than axum a tiny bit faster so yeah this is the overall pattern that i see this is what I wanted to share. We will not store these results. I just wanted to check them against Actix Web. So let me close them to here. Let's clear this. Let's clear this and let's proceed to the uh, WRK. So we will bench we 
will bench with six threads 1000 concurrent requests and we will bench for 60 seconds let's check our resources here uh, let's check our system java Again, the memory is approximately the same, 800 megabytes. The CPU is 6, as you can see. So we have uh, our resources uh, utilization is very low. Our CPU usage is very low. And the result is, of course, very low, as we saw so far. So this promise of, of what of resource efficient does not hold up currently. OK, we have our result. Let's proceed to uh, Actix Web. Let's get this. Uh, we had here 60 seconds, so let me fix this 60 seconds and let's start benching. Memory is 124. CPU is about 50%. For this benchmark, the warp memory usage and the action memory usage is about 20 megabytes, keep in mind. And the CPU usage is the same. So we have quite good utilization. Of course, it would be better. This is a question I have myself why we don't get more usage than 50% so it seems that there is potential for us for even better performance I have no clue why this happens so we have our results let's check six threads one minute six threads one minute okay let's check the results Latency 55 here, latency 286, max latency 518, max latency, latency 131. Request per second 582, request per second 2.97k. Max request per second 1.20k, 3.45k. Total request. 207,000 1,065,000 request per second 17,700 request per second 3,455 transfer per second 322 megabytes 1.76 gigabytes so yeah again huge differences here as you can see the resource efficient claim does not hold according to these results so let's check warp quickly 60 seconds we will <clears throat> We will test, uh, we will check warp against uh, Actix Web, of course. So, this is the warp API CPU again at 50%. The memory is at 27 megabytes. As uh, if you remember, this is what I said Actix Web was over 100 megabytes. And according to the creator of Warp, uh, it's due to the fact that Hyper reuses the buffer that it reads data into. So this is why the memory is so low. 
I don't know how Actix Web uh, handles this thing. But again, as you can see, the CPU usage is about 50%, which in my mind says that we could do a lot better if we could utilize the CPUs even further. So let's check to Actix Web. Latency 55.53, request per second 297, 3.37, total requests 1,207,000 more, yeah, request per second 17,700, 20,000, transfer 199, 176. So you see that, uh, yeah, Rust uh, warp outperforms Actix Web and uh, and vertex of course so let's run the last benchmark for axum not 30 seconds we want 60 seconds please okay we started let me check this axum same CPU usage, same memory usage. These two frameworks are same in the sense that they both use hyper under the hood. Uh, the thing that changes are the ergonomics. Axum is a lot more familiar, let's say, with the way we build things regarding APIs. Warp is a little opinionated. But in all our, my tests, with both Apache Bench and uh, WRK, always Warp is a little faster than all the other Rust frameworks, a little faster than Axum, and substantially faster and better than Actix Web. So these are the stats, 5361. 3.37, 2.93, 1, 1,207, 1, 1,048 requests per second, 20,000, 17,500, 191, 165. So as you can see, yeah, if we focus on uh, our main topic, which is uh, the vertex, VS Actix Web, you see that the vertex does not hold up it is worse than Actix web of course but it is even worse than spring boot that we tested the previous time so yeah out of the box this does not hold up and i would um, concurrent and asynchronous People told you a synchronous program is too hard for you. We strive to make program with an approachable experience without sacrificing correctness. You pick the model that works best for the task at hand. Callbacks promises future receiving and Kotlin coroutines. Okay. As I said out of the box, these two do not hold up. I just followed the docs and I created uh, the application that they describe. I will have it in the respective GitHub repository. These uh, claims do not hold up um, by default. They don't hold up even compared to Spring Boot, not to Rust. The utilization of our resources is not efficient. It is very low, but also the, the end result is very low. So I would not recommend using this framework unless there is somebody who is more versed into it and starts uh, uh, proposing something that we can change in order to make it uh, perform better so if you are if you are working with java i would uh, suggest sticking to spring boot instead of this framework so this is in essence all the information that i wanted to share thank you for watching and have a great day